Hi guys, I'm Jordan from Norwich Camping and Leisure and I'm now beside the new Zempire Evo range of tents. Uh, so I've got the Evo TM here, so the, like the M standing for medium. They also do an L and an XL. Um, so yeah, this is the TM, so the smallest one of the range, um, but lovely, great, bright, vibrant um, range of tents uh, for 2020. So like lo lovely green, um, you've got obviously air beam technology, so you pump it up from the other side on the outside. So nice and quick and easy to pump up. You've got one, two, three, four beams on this one to pump up. So real nice and quick and easy to get up when you uh, get it on site. What I really like is the angle of the beams as well. Nice, like, nicely pre-shaped. So nice and tall, gives you plenty of head space inside the, uh, the tent as well. But the uh, Zempire range is packed full of features. Um, so this is a 150 denier material with a 5,000 hydrostatic head. You've got full webbing straps on the front here as well. Um, so that makes it obviously nice and strong and sturdy, especially if you're uh, camping on the coast. And then we've got guy ropes all the way around and then nice big webbing straps at the bottom as well um, to, to peg your tent down. On the front here, we have a zip just under here. So the tent actually comes, as you see here, with an open front, but you can zip on a front to enclose it. Um, so that can have mesh on as well. So it gives you the option to then obviously have use, use this space here on your canopy as a more usable space so you can keep your belongings, but obviously zip it closed uh, when you go out for the day and obviously give it a bit more shelter. But yeah, the Evo range has got full of features. Well, another nice feature in here as well is the tinted windows. Um, so that obviously makes it a little bit cooler inside, but also um, not so bright inside as well. So sometimes you go in tents and they're very bright. So that's a nice little feature, especially on some hot sunny days. And then the tent is also packed full of mesh panels as well um, and ventilation points. So you've got mesh on the window here, on here. You've got mesh down here and loads of mesh around the back as well, which I'll show you in a second. So as I said, in the canopy here then, we've got zip up, zip down curtains. So they're nice and easy, so you can have them at whichever height you prefer. The tinted windows and then the mesh at the bottom just to allow lots of plenty of airflow. So the airflow is going to help with condensation as well, so that'll reduce that. So it's not as damp as obviously in your tent in the mornings if, if you're camping in different weathers and different times of the year. It then leads on to our main big door, which goes into the tent. So this is a 360 door, so you could completely open it all the way up. And it's also got a complete mesh panel along the whole thing as well. So that allows plenty of ventilation. So if you're going away in the peak summer in England, you can obviously have all the ventilation and keep your tent nice and cool. But yeah, that zips all the way down. You can then scrunch that up. And then there's a pocket just around here. So that keeps it nice and tidy, like so. So yeah, now you feel like you've got a real big spacious open tent with that big door open. In the centre of the tent here, obviously we've got a fully sewn in ground sheet in here and obviously throughout the bedroom bit. So obviously no water should be getting in this bit because um, it's all fully sewn in around the edges. Like I said, plenty of headroom. We've then got a door on the side here with a big mesh panel as well. So that's another entrance or exit. And on this side, we've got the tinted window with the mesh panel uh, at the bottom as well, so allow for lots more ventilation. Quite like this feature as well, that the beam is just toggled in, so it's not in a sleeve itself. So it sits there, you know, if you have to twist your beams, they're nicely in there, nice and secure, and obviously you can get plenty of pressure in there, so it's nice and sturdy. Then we go back to our, the bedrooms. Um, so you've got sort of a darker bedroom, so you should get a better night's sleep. You've got loads of pockets in here to keep your tent nice and tidy. Um, sort of right bright, uh, vibrant zips, so yeah, nice, nice like colour scheme. You've got a couple of zips at the top here, so if you've got lights that you want to put into your bedroom area, you can obviously put your wires through there. So this is a four berth tent, so you've got a two berth and a two berth, and then in the middle here we've got a zip divide, so you can then zip that back and have it as one big four berth bedroom if you wanted to. There is a few pockets around on the edges as well, um, and obviously mesh, mesh ventilation on the front door and the top of the back bit there as well. So as I was saying, we've got the mesh door here and then obviously the door behind it. So you can leave the mesh open if you wanted to. So plenty of airflow, or you can completely toggle it all the way back to here. 
Okay, like I said, you've got plenty of ventilation points like this one down here. So that allows vent air to flow into the tent as you come out. And then underneath all these little pockets here is where you pump it up. So you just got a Boston valve under there. So nice and quick and easy to pump up. So that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, easy to pump it up when the beam, uh, when the pump up valve is on the outside. So back of the tent now, again, obviously it's where you're gonna be sleeping in the back. So this is where you need obviously lots of ventilation during the night as well. So you've got ventilation point here, which you can peg out. The same on this side, peg that one out. You've then got this sort of multi door here. So you could put this up on poles if you wanted. So if it's a right hot summer's day, that big, big mesh panel there allows obviously loads of airflow into your tent. So you could sort of pitch that out like that if you wanted or on guy ropes, just a bit more airflow. You can then zip down <coughs> one of the zips and then have it like that. So that allows for airflow, but obviously not as much or you can completely zip it up <coughs> like so and have it like that. So it's just a, against there. So if you did want it a bit warmer and didn't need the airflow, you've got that option. And then obviously full webbing straps on the back here and then a mesh panel at the top there as well. So this is the Zempire T Evo TM. Uh, so a four berth tent. Obviously, if you've got any more questions about this tent uh, or want to order one, give us a call or check out our website. They do lots of optional extras like carpets, footprints, the front door, a roof protector that can clip onto these bits here just to protect the top of the tent. Um, so make your tent last a bit longer. So obviously we do package deals. So get in touch if you want a bit of a bundle deal. Um, but yeah, these, these uh, Evo tents definitely tick a lot of the boxes going forward in the camping industry. Um, so yeah, I'd look, definitely look at one of these as a contender of some of the tents that you're gonna to look to purchase. So as I said, we've got also available in different sizes. So the TL and the TXL. So have a look at the videos we've done on those as well. But again, if you wanna give, give me a call, uh, if you've got any more questions, uh, feel free to. Thanks for watching this video.